Oh. Hey, oh. Mom, Mom, where are we going? Loot Crate. Loot Crate, oh, are, you, are you recording? Yeah. Oh, we're going to Loot Crate. <laughs> the Loot Crate video of the Yay! day. Woo, it is, it is 9.21 in the morning. And we're going to get there at, 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 at what, at 10, 10, 10, 50 something. 10.57 probably. Yeah. And it doesn't open, well, the comic book store opens at 11. And the Loot Crate meetup doesn't start till 2. Yay. But if you're wearing an Agents of Shield lanyard, you get, if, and, and you're the first 100, you get a free Loot Crate. And we almost died. Yeah, we did. Like I ran a red light. Oh. But yeah. So yeah, yeah we'll yeah. see you when we're there. gonna be my really super messy uh, loot crate looter meetup haul. I literally just got home not too long ago and I dumped everything on my bed. So yeah, um, we went to the first ever loot crate looter meetup today at Meltdown Comics. As you can see from the video, it is in LA and I've never been there before and it was really cool. So we got there at 11.20 something and we waited in line until 2 because the first 100 people wearing their Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. lanyard from the uh, March crate, yep, from the March crate got a free Meltdown Special Edition crate which had a triple, which I have, it had a triple, it had the Walking Dead comic it had stuff that's not in here. Oh, here's the, um, the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. prop replica. Um, it had a Transformers blind box, and it had, I got this Optimus Prime, uh, Nano Micro Robots, which I'm super excited about. It's a hex bug. Um, but yeah, so it had all this stuff in it, and you got to trade with, and it's falling over, you got to trade with other looters, which was really, really exciting, so I spent most of the day trading, and I got some really epic stuff, um, the highlight of it was this shirt that I missed out on in the October crate, which it looks like a skull, but then when you zoom in, it's cats, and I love cats, so I was able to trade for this. And then also one thing I did is they were selling past crates there, so I actually purchased the December crate again, so I had it more so I had more stuff to trade, which was perfect. And then I traded one of the comics I already had for the Rocket Raccoon variant cover, which is epic. I also was able to get my own This Is Stirred shirt from the March box because I gave mine to my dad so I was able to trade for another one which is super exciting um I got another triple for my friend I actually ended up with three triples because everybody that the first 100 people that showed up got a triple in their meltdown mystery box or whatever and a bunch of people already had triples and they didn't want them so they started trading them so I was able to snatch up some triples for me my dad and my friend, so I got a triple, and then I got two of these sci-fi um, mystery mini Funko mystery minis. But apparently, they're all Mal from Firefly, and I knew one of them was going to be Mal from Firefly, but I didn't know all of them were going to be. So one of them was going to my friend definitely because she loves Firefly, and then I kept the I am a second pair of I am Groot socks from the December crate because. 
I tend to wear holes in socks and I love these socks like way too much. So yeah, and then I the highlight of the trading, like major highlight because I am now obsessed with alien isolation and all that kind of stuff is this Funko reaction figure and it is the alien and I am like super excited for this. It's so epic and it is saying and it's packaging. It's just so cool. And then from the actual comic book store, I was able to get, my cat's making noise, I was able to get the Jessica Rabbit pop figure, which yes, and now my cat's on the bed. I was able to get the Jessica Rabbit pop figure, and I was able to get the Aaron Yeager pop figure, and also they had a bunch of the Frozen Mystery Minis. And the guy was super nice there as he let you, if you got a figure you didn't want, you were allowed to trade for whatever one they had in the display case. So I ended up getting three total because I got, I got a baby Anna originally and then I, I mean a baby Elsa originally and then I traded her for this Olaf. And this Olaf actually had been traded for an Elsa, which is in this Elsa, here we go, ha ha ha. This, that Olaf I traded for this Elsa, and then the first one I bought was Cat, Cat, no, no, Athena, Athena, and there she goes, okay. And then the first one I bought, if I can open it with one hand, was, it's turned out to be Kristoff, which I'm super excited for that, so there's all those, and then I also got a, a um, Hello Kitty Frenzy. It turned out to be this little boxer Hello Kitty, which is so cute. Might go on my phone or my backpack later if my camera wants to focus. There she is. So yeah, that is all I got from the Loot Crate Looter Meetup. And it was so fun. I really hope they do it again next year. My mom actually bought her first Funko Pop that she bought like by herself that I didn't buy for her. And it was uh, Gertie from... E.T., which is so super awesome. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!